Uh, I don't know if I stop there or not, but regardless, this might be part three. Hoi, big brother! Oh, she came up to see how we're doing. She wants to be part of the action, too. Hey! Oh, man. It's a Kodak moment. Oh, no. Just mind the gap as you- Wait, what? Oh, no. Not the stupid bird again. Dude! No, that's my sister! What are you doing? Holy crap! Brother! Oh, don't you love how you can just hear me drawing my sword? That perfect sound effect. Whoa! Holy crap! I thought I had him! Ugh, stupid kid! Get a hold of yourself! She's gone! There's nothing you can do! So I just have to sit here and watch him fly away into that flock of seagulls with my bird. With my sister, I mean, not my bird. Oh. Well. Damn. What a birthday. What? You want to come with us on our ship? Yes, please. Do you understand what we're asking? We're pirates, you know. Pirates! The terror of the seas! No, that's blue whales. I'm sorry. What do we get out of bringing some helpless little kid along with us? I'll tell you what we get. A headache. But I'm ch I know how you must feel with your sister having been kidnapped and all, but that doesn't really have anything to do with us now, does it? Wait, what? And how do you figure that? Oh, it's the postman. Whoa, whoa, whoa there! Just who do you think you are? When, where do you get a button on on someone else's conversation? Please, all I mean to say is that I don't know what voice to give this guy, he doesn't even have a mouth, really. Is that if you big bad pirates hadn't come to this quiet little island, that poor girl wouldn't have been snatched away by that bird. And just what do you mean by that? Just be quiet for a moment and I'll tell you. Yeah, shut up. Now, as my work entails delivering letters, I spend much of my tra time traveling the many different islands. As a result, I hear many things. Hoot hoot. Haven't any of you heard word that young girls have been getting kidnapped from lately from all regions of the Great Sea? No matter. Whether you've heard it or not, that seems to be the case. Young girls with long ears like yours have been getting kidnapped, never to be seen again. So we got a bird with an ear fetish here. That, I've heard stranger things. Yeah, she has long ears, does she not? Much like you do, Miss Fearsome Pirate. My point is that the bird mistook that poor girl for you, and that's why I grabbed her. What is this, Phoenix right? And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was young Argon here who saved you from the monsters in the forest, wasn't it? Is this true? I don't know who was talking there. Oh, and while I'm at it, I may as well tell you that the bird that kidnapped both you and Argon's sister made its foul nest in to the north on the heights of the Forsaken Fortress. Uh oh. The Forsaken Fortress? Isn't that the place where... Wh where what? Oh, so many unanswered questions. So, what are you going to do? Under the circumstances, I don't think it would be unreasonable for you to give Argon a little help now, would it? No! Hmph, <laughs> I don't need you to tell me that. Damn it. Even if I were to consider it, lately I've heard nothing but evil rumors about this Forsaken Fortress. Oh god. I'm Flemmy. You can't possibly mean to go there with nothing but that cheap little sword. That's not brave. It's stupid. It's stupid. I mean, come on. Even a simple little island like this has to have something you could use as a shield. You know, something to protect yourself with? Anything? Well, tell you what. If you come back here with something like that, I'll, tell I'll let you stow away in our ship. Okay. I have a feeling you're taking you're taking a lead from a certain green elf in Kokiri Forest. Jeez, what's this guy? Hey, yeah, shrimp it, shrimp it, shrimple it. Are you going to be our new pirate swabby? Cause any new swabby reports to me. Oh my god, <laughs> he's so happy about it. Cool. All right, so um, you might remember that there was a shield in our house actually, so we're gonna go ahead and grab that. I was so stupid my first time through this. I like, I didn't know, I didn't remember that there was a shield in the house. So I was going around trying to grab crabs and rocks and try to use those as a shield. I was like, hey, I'll just use this. I mean, it's hard. It'll work, right? What is it, Argon? Please tell Grandma what's troubling you. And where's Arrow? Is she? Oh yeah, our Grandma doesn't know. Oh, so sad. I don't know if we should tell her or not. What? Where's my shield? Crap! Someone stole it. did. <sighs> but it was those pirates. They love their booty. What? 
Grandma, what are you doing? Argon. Do you have soup for me? Already? That's not supposed to happen until later. Is this what you're looking for? Oh, that's my shield. Oh, we both know what's going on. We just don't want to admit it. Take it with you. You got the hero shield, but it's... Oh, he's sad. This legendary shield is said to have been used by the hero himself. Yep. It's, a de it's an ornate shield. I love it. I really do love it. What? Put your stupid hand down. I guess it is true. Ero really has been kidnapped, hasn't she? What kind of monster could take such a sweet young child? Oh. This is so sad. Man. This is the saddest music in like any Zelda game ever. Oh, Ero. Wow. Man, I... I have to leave this place. I can't tolerate the sad music anymore. I think probably the only song sadder than that in any Zelda game I've heard is probably like Midna's Lament or something. I think that's what that's called anyways. Uh, 20 minutes here, 21 minutes. I don't know. Alright, I got my shield now, I'm ready to go. Wow, that's a decrepit old shield. Are you sure you can still use that thing? Dude, shut up. It's a shield. Can you ask for anything better? Well, whatever. If you're ready, then let's go. Are you ready? Uh, I guess. Here we go. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. No! Oh, he's hitting a gong. I thought he was going to hit me. Oh. oh, and the sail unfurls and the music swells. What is that? Oh, I don't even know what to make of that. Is that a snake or... I, I don't know whether to cringe or laugh. Alright. All our friends and fam... Well, not family, but... Good luck finding Errol. I don't think I've ever took note of that snot-nosed kid. He's nasty, though. I may have talked to him once or something. So long, farewell. <gasps> oh. Oh, it's Granny. She's over on the porch over there. Yeah! Waving with both hands. The musical cues in this game are awesome. Ugh. How much longer do you think this is going to go on, do you think? Do you have an estimate? Well, come on! That's the That island is all I've ever known, and you don't expect me to be a little sad? Uh, I'm not going to quit right now. I can tell you're just going to get more sentimental from here on out. There's still time, you know. Are you sure we shouldn't just turn around and take you back to your island? Tempting offer, but I have to refuse. Aw, oh, I'll miss the place though, damn it. Alright, we got a little more time left here. If I think I'm gonna edit this the way that I will. Argon, listen kid, you can't just stand around on deck. You'll get in everyone's way. I've told oh, Nico, okay. Let's go find him. Uh so he should be in the bottom decks here. That's not how you open a door. Oh yeah, so now we just have to wait, and wait, and wait, until we actually get there. The Forsaken Fortress is like all the way on the other side of the map too, which is why this is going to take so long. Don't even think it! I wasn't thinking what I think you thought I was thinking, dude. Oh hey! Oh well now, ahoy there, Swabby! As of today, ahem! I am your superior, Nico! I, now, I promise I'll go easy on you, so do as I say, okay? Sure, Bucktooth. Right, now first off, you have to take this test all new pirates have to take. Oh, it's a hazing ritual. Great. You watch everything I'm about to show you real, real careful like so you can cram it into no, your no doubt mushy swabby brain. Alright, so I see a switch and a torch. Not uncommon. First off, you gotta press this switch. This is the only easy part. Dude, that switch looks like half as big as I am. How's that supposed to be easy? Oh, he jump on it. Okay. Oh, now check it out. After all the platforms rise up from the floor, you gotta jump on them. Pretty self-explanatory so far. <sighs> That's the most dramatic jump I've ever seen. Yeah, the next one's a little too far, so you have to do this. <laughs> I love how he's to charge up for like even the smallest of jumps. 
If you jump right at the rope, you can grab onto it and use the control stick to swing. Swing until you get close enough to the next platform. Yeah. You'll see here, though, that he actually lets go, like, in the middle of the swing, not when he's close to the platform. It's actually a pretty good strategy. Because if you let go, like, too far along your swing, then you might actually skip over the platform. I've, I've suffered that many times, believe me. Oh, yeah. So, with all that, and we're on a time limit? Well, that's just crazy. Oh, my. One year? Oh, crap. One rough year. One tough year full of bumps and bruises. That sounds like the next year of my life in real life here. Alright, so you actually want to press this switch, because the time that he used there, that actually counts towards your time, I think, so... Just be, sur be sure to reset it here. And this is pretty much the easiest puzzle you're going to ever find in the game, so... It's not even really a puzzle, it's just an obstacle course. Yeah, so I'd, you, you really want to let go in the middle, kind of like he did. Otherwise, you might actually overshoot it. So, that's a, probably a good idea. Cru oh my god, I thought I was going to fall off there for sure. I thought I was dead. I, th I really did. Alright, let's see. Oh, just another swing. Swing and a miss! Oh, wow, it really was a swing and a miss. Who knew? Hey, what are you doing? You have to jump. <laughs> Why did I give him that voice? I think it was because of that sound that he made. He was going like, ooh, 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 or something. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, falling's not part of the program, like he said. Though I'm sure you fell several times. <laughs> I mean, you made the comparison, or like the analogy or whatever it was, that this is going to take one year for me to do. So obviously you're comparing that to some other experience, which I can only imagine is your own, that it took you one year to do this. If it, took, if it takes you one year to do this, I don't even know what to say to you. I'll just tip my nose up at you. No, I'm just kidding. Alright. Maybe there's some, like, secret message in the game if you actually do take one full year to do this. Wouldn't that be amazing and no one had ever found that because, like, they never had the patience to do that or anything? That would have been amazing. What? You did it already? I... I... I don't know what to say. I'm proud to have you as... As my underling. God, this guy's voice is fluctuating all over. I... I wonder if it's okay to just give that to him. I don't see why not. I doubt I'll get busted. Alright, Swabby, I'll tell you what. You can have the treasure in that chest over there. If you're... It's your reward for a great and generous Nico. So generous. Oh, yeah, but this is probably actually one of the really important items of the game. Well, not really important, but it's important enough. This is the spoils bag, and it has a big face on it. You can keep the items you get from enemies in this handy pouch. Yup. It's my handy-dandy backpack. God, that thing is kind of creepy, though. That reminds me of Pajama Sam. Hey, Aragon, we've reached the Forsaken Fortress. Hurry and get up here. Wow, that was fast. Jeez. Oh, uh, what is this, uh... This fucking... I don't know. Expedia? That was horrible. <laughs> if a punchline takes you, like, longer than us, like, two seconds to come up with, then it's a bad joke. I'm sorry, but it is. So that pretty much qualifies all of my jokes as bad. Really. Whoa. Hey, Argon, here I am, up here. Uh, I don't know if I have time for this, though, really. You know, I think I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to leave that for the next episode. So next time on the Wind Waker, we're going to climb the ladder up to her big face up there that was showing. So, oh, man, can I just leave it off like that? I guess I have to. Thanks, everyone. For, wait, let's talk to this guy. I know, I know, but was Nico's test easy? Really? Uh, yeah, it really was. Uh, so I guess, thanks everyone for watching. This is, no, I want to talk to these guys up here too. Uh, what do you say? You got a creepy looking beard. The young miss is waiting for you up above. We've reached the Forsaken Fortress. <sighs> okay. What about you, Gonzo? What are you doing, shrimp? Miss Tetra is waiting for you up at the crow's nest. Shake a leg, yeah? Go, hoot it. Hoot it? Hoof it. Hooked it. Yep. Alright. Uh. 
Dude, I should be signing off here, but I want to talk to this one last guy over here. So that's the Forsaken Fortress. What an evil looking place. He's sizing it up. Look at that. He's looking at that spotlight over there. Whoa, I saw his face there. That was scary. Anyways, so I think that's going to be it for this episode. So standing on this grate in front of the ladder, next time, we'll climb it. Thanks everyone for watching. This has been Argon Matrix, signing out. This ha I I've been saying that lately. This has been Argon Matrix, signing out. That doesn't make sense. This is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and good night.